So we've arrived three and a half hours before our flight leaves in Copenhagen Airport. And there are a lot of people here. But uh, Julia, Julia and I just had this great idea that maybe we should uh, go and get some food. It's, let's see, it's 11 o'clock in the day. So uh, we were thinking about bowling out and just going to Burger King at this time of the day. So that'll be a first. But uh, I could for sure eat a hamburger right now or a cheeseburger or two and some fries. So I think we're going to get some food. You and I found a very delicious meal. We've got some cheeseburgers and some cheeseburgers and some cheeseburgers and a double cheeseburger for me and some curly fries and some Fanta. Excited about our trip? I'm very excited about our trip. You think it's going to be good? It's going to be amazing. I think we're going to have a, a very nice trip. I think uh, we're not going to have any turbulence at all. And, uh, that would be nice. Yeah, that would be great. So we already weighed our bags down at the at the disc, and uh, we are within the allowed weight range. So I think uh, my backpack is 10 kilos. Eunice is around 12. I'll probably do all the makeup. And <laughs> my computer bag is around 10 as well. And Eunice is about six, six point two. So we are well within the range of how much we can carry. So now we're gonna eat some food, and then we're gonna check in. Most of you guys know, Julia and I are not always the fastest people in the world. So of course we are late for our boarding of the plane because we had to shop. So good one. Because there was a big queue. Yeah, huge queue. So we're in a bit of a rush now, but I think we're gonna make it. I hope so. Hello guys, so first up on our outbound travels, we've now landed in Bangkok after a very smooth flight, uh, about 9,000 kilometers, uh, it took how long, around what, 9 hours, about 10 hours, uh, we had some nice meals, we had some uh, frittata, and we had some pork and rice, I think we'll get pretty much used to that a lot down here. But yeah, it was good. The, the food was nice. We watched a couple of movies. Uh, tried to sleep a bit, but it was rough. We're not that good at turning around the clock yet. But uh, yeah, so now we're going to our gate. We're going to uh, E something where we can uh, book in and get ready for our flight to Yangon. Yuda and I have arrived in Yangon in Myanmar. We have just visited a Danish friend and his wife and got some instructions about a hotel and where to go and what to see here in Yangon. Uh, the plane from Bangkok to here went fairly smooth. There was a little bit of turbulence, but it was alright. And so now we're in a local taxi with this nice guy. And as you can see, we are a bit in the back roads, but yeah, it's, it's, it, so far it looks nice. And I are now on our way out in our first night in Myanmar. We're going out to get some food. It's a little bit late because we, we were so uh, smashed after the flight that we needed to get a little bit of sleep. 
But uh, we had a little sleep. Our room is pretty nice. I'll, I'll film it tomorrow morning so you can see our room tour. Uh, but we're going out now to get some food in our bellies. So we can go to bed and get ready for an early start tomorrow. Or we're gonna see the big pagoda and a lot of other stuff here in Yangon. So Yul and I went to see Sule Pagoda, which was uh, very beautiful, but uh, we uh, met a couple of guys that actually wanted money just to get in, and they started saying that it was for them and it was for homeless children, and then afterwards it was for the government and, they, and that I should pay more. So uh, first day here, and we got hustled a little bit, only around six dollars, actually seven with the one dollar I gave him for shutting up, but yeah. But now we are on the way back to the hotel, we're in a little mini mart. We're just gonna buy some water and some small supplies for tomorrow morning. Um, and we had some food. It wasn't like any special, just some uh, rice and some chicken. Uh, but yeah, now we're just uh, gonna buy some stuff. And uh, did you like the Sule Pagoda? She's a woman of very few words, so that's good. But uh, the stores are very nice. There's a lot of street kitchens here. Uh, we've, we live in one of the streets down near the water. And uh, there's a lot of street kitchens selling everything from fish, cockroaches to vegetables and all that kind of stuff. So some of it looks good, some of it looks absolutely disgusting, but we're gonna try out some more tomorrow. But for now we're just gonna go home and crash. I'm gonna edit some videos for tonight. And then we're gonna get up early in the morning, around seven o'clock. So we're ready for a fresh start and to go and see the other exciting stuff here in Yangon. Catch you later.